When I started, first started learning Chinese, it was through a similar student exchange program. So it was similar to how it's run over here. We'd have you know, Chinese students come over to the UK, they'd stay in our houses and vice versa. And I think it was more about sort of raising cultural awareness, um, letting us know that, you know, there are different ways of doing things and different ways of living and exposing children to that at a young age. I think it's really important. Gansodong I think that exchange projects bring enormous benefit. I think the schools involved get a chance to share ideas, come together and look at the different systems that uh, operate within different countries and there's, an, there's a lot to be learnt from that. And on top of that, maybe even more importantly on a human level, all of the people involved in the exchange grow because the, the young people get lifelong friendships out of it, they get more socially aware and I think the adults as well benefit from seeing the young people grow in that fashion. So over the next five days, the Chinese children will be coming over, living and studying with their English counterparts. I'm a firm believer of people-to-people uh, -people diplomacy. And in my role as uh, working for the Confucius Institute, our remit is to promote cultural understanding between, well, in our case, between the, the people in Britain and people in China. And I think the most effective way is by visiting each other's country and living with uh, the local people there. Um, Hippie,嗯,我喜欢舞蹈,也喜欢画画,嗯,更喜欢唱歌。好。你来英国之前,你来英国是个什么样的地方? 然后说话一旦不合心意就会骂人那种 我叫陈淑豪,我的英文名叫Harry,我今年16岁了,我来自福建福州的一所叫做18中的中学。孩子们来到英国,异国他乡,虽然时间短,但是一个陌生的环境,一个陌生的语言,完全能够培养他们的独
or, or Japan or the Middle East and I think for them to get that experience at this age is really, really beneficial. Um, I, th I think it's really important that they have a cultural awareness of people from other religions, other faiths, other backgrounds and to be able to accept that um, and I think it really does promote community cohesion and, and it minimises discrimination and I think that's really important. With school exchanges, the way we do it, we're encouraging the schools to do, is actually opening up your school when you have uh, exchange visit students. They come and shadow your, your school, your pupils in different classes. They actually, we encourage them to provide homestays. So the visiting children actually stay with uh, the host uh, uh, schools families and I think that's uh, it provides a more intimate way of understanding the way people live their life locally. Um, let me introduce myself my name is Amy and my Chinese name is Chen Le Yi. I study in number 16 middle school and I like to play basketball and play Chinese lute. I have so many friends like Beth and Michael. That's okay? This is your room, Amy? Yes. Hope it's, it's big so enough. beautiful. I like okay. it. Yes. And we try to do a welcome. Welcome, Amy. Okay, and this is a little gift for you from the family. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I like you. What is it? You look when you're ready. Um, my name is Mary Wilson. I'm the mother of Beth Wilson in year nine. And we are hosting Amy. I also have a son, Michael, in Year 7 at St. Bede's. Amy, she's a pleasure. She's a delightful young person to have in the home. She's fitted in brilliant. The language isn't a barrier. There are times when we sort of have to rephrase things, which is normal, but she's fitted in lovely with her home, and I'm hoping that she's happy where she is and enjoying her stay with us. We've written in the Chinese. Can you? Okay, I can. Thanks. Thanks, Liz. Okay. That's just to make yourself at home. Yes. It's your home for the week as well as our home. Yes. I'm yes. looking forward. Good, good. We're looking forward to having you for the week. Yes. Did you have. English food or Chinese food in London? Chinese food in London? Yes. English food? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Did you enjoy the English food? Yes, I think it's delicious. Okay. Oh, like treat. Did you have anything in particular you like? Fish and chips? Did you have fish and chips? No, but I see it in the book. In the book? Yes. Okay. That's yeah, that's it's on a it's traditional on a Friday. Fish and chips. Yeah, in school it's on, Friday. on Friday. So everything um, I've prepared and put before her to eat, she's enjoyed, and I've not had to make alternative arrangements or anything. Um, and I'm quite a traditional cooker, so it's good wholesome food that I've prepared, and she's enjoyed all of it so far. 对我很好,他经常问我, are you okay? Um, do you have a good day? Um, 类似这样的问题。所以我特别喜欢Beth的妈妈。He's settled into the exchange program quite well. Um, she's not confident um, speaking English. I think she probably knows a little bit more English than she's confident in using. Um, so th there's a language barrier. She's taken on lots of our English um, ways quite well. Um, you can tell some of it's quite awkward for her, um, but I do think she's trying to get as much from the experience as possible. Um, and she, she, 
she's quite happy to go along with the things that we offer her and try different foods um, and communicate the best way that she can and, and the girls I think are also trying to do the same. Yeah, yeah it's a big, it's a good yeah. view and there as well. Then you can go inside. Come on, Molly. Yeah. What? <laughs> you like? Yes. Oh, good, good. So we want to show her things that are sort of quintessentially English. We want to take her to a historic house, um, tea rooms, but also we want to take her to places, you know, that our children, children of the same age, would ordinarily go to. So to go ice skating and, and to the laser tag. Um, so we've got a busy week. 那么说到寄宿家庭，英国家长晚上组织的活动也丰富多彩，不是去海边，那可能是去骑马，呃，不是去滑冰，那可能是，呃，到山区骑单车或者是，呃，远足这类的户外活动。那么我觉得这种深层文化的融入，还有就是寄宿家庭给予的温暖，嗯，在我眼里才叫真正的跨国交流。那你来说一下你的那个寄宿家庭吧。我的寄宿家庭啊，他们的家长非常的友好，对我的对我非常好，而且对非常照顾我。那你这几天能说一下去哪里玩了吗？这上周天我去了利物浦的安菲尔德球场，看了一场球赛。看了球赛？对。哦，赢了吗？赢了，三比二。三比二。嗯。I think we're well matched、uh, due to like football and.、Um, we're both very mature and stuff like that. When Harry sent over his profile, we could see that both Harry and Tom matched in terms of sports and what they like to do. They both like, they both like their football. Um, and from what I've heard from uh, Tom's mum as well, is they both like their food as well. Even we had communication for mainly a lot of their um, hobbies and things they like to do in spare time was very similar. So um, they had a lot of common factors to begin with, which is a good basis for a friendship to develop and grow. When we got the profiles of the students, um, we did look at their likes, their dislikes, and whether or not the two students would actually get on during the week. But initially, it was a coincidence when we, when we first matched them up. Probably one of my favourite subjects is history, because I just like、um, looking back on heritage and stuff like that. 历史就像一个故事一样，我们知可以知道从前有什么发生过什么事情。I think the students have been matched actually quite perfectly. When we were sort of matching them up, me and Miss Kelly, we went back and looked at. We obviously wanted them to go into the same age group, same year group、um, in school. And when our children sent over the student profiles from China, we could see that at least. Uh, probably 80% of them matched in terms of their hobbies,、um, the food they like to eat, all those things they matched up. So it was, it was, it was, it was a perfect match. I've got a dog called Sully, which we got two years ago.、Um, he's quite funny sometimes. He's quite lively.、Um, on Christmas, he decided to sit at the dinner table on one of the chairs because、um, he thought he was going to have Christmas dinner. <laughs> I think Hebe was a little bit dubious about Sully at first. She's got a dog at home, but、um, I think Sully's quite a different temperament, perhaps to her her dog, which seems a lot smaller. So she's just a little wary around him, but I think she finds him quite funny. Can you tell me how your foreign friend is? Um, I think it's really good because when I came to that country, I was very nervous. 我第一次去的时候晕车，然后他就给我买水，又是扶，嗯，又是那样给我摁摁太阳穴，然后那样子，我觉得特别特别好。爱好会不会跟你的英国伙伴一样？是的，全部都喜欢，他们全都喜欢。
i s b e l 他为人大方亲切，嗯，当他当他生气的时候，他不会说出来，他会在心里默默的，就是那样自己憋着，他就不想让旁边人怎么讲。对，影响受那种，他情绪影响，然后变得不快乐，他不会。莫莉的话，他比较直率，嗯，说话也很厉害那种。<笑>然后就是他说话就感觉像是那种，嗯，也不说是话，就是说他为人为人特别的。亲切也特别的和蔼，但是他会耍一些小性子，就是但是也觉得他很可爱。嗯，对。Well, she's she's really friendly, but she can't speak English, so we can't really speak to her. We've taught her some English, and she's taught us some Chinese. Um, but we just have to use Google Translate. It's been a bit difficult at times because she's been going in the wrong direction when we're meant to be going in the other direction. But it's been quite、um, interesting and quite funny at times to see what she'll do. How how did you find performing in front of all the students? Um, it was quite nice because it's given them something to remember from, and it's nice for a welcome.那说到学校老师上课然后呢没有配上那种实践然后呢国外的老师他们就是有配上一些实践的活动然后呢可以让同学们之间更有交流觉得他们说话的声音不带有任何感情但是来到这里我发现他们说话非常的温顺和善
there's a view of, of Catholic education that it can be quite narrow, that it's schools full of, um, of a monoculture of children that only know about the Catholic faith, that are predominantly white. And we, we kind of fit that bill here in West Lancashire. So for us as a school, I think it's broadened our horizons. It's given us a chance to see the inner workings of a different culture and to embrace that. And the young people, of course, will be able to spread that message to the fellow pupils and, and they'll be able to tell them about the enormous benefits of, of having hosted one of the children.老师就像一个朋友一样，他会教，他会让你在一些实验中明白学习的，嗯，明白你要做的这个实验的结论，然后从中去学习。在国内呢，就是老师告诉你这个结论，你就要掌握它。from what I can gather, it's very rigorous. Um, the children at school for long hours. Um, a lot of importance is put on education and getting a good education. From what I know, the parents push the children a lot, and they, you know, to achieve very well at school, as as do we. I think uh, traditionally, uh, China has always uh, paid a lot of attention to education because we believe education is one of the sure way of social mobility. I mean, in both countries now, uh, we, we talk a lot about encouraging social mobility and uh, the Chinese belief through education, that's how you make your future. It's, it's one of the Catholic traditions, one of the traditions that lies at the heart of the Catholic faith is that outreach should be part of our mission, that we look to embrace other cultures and that's what we wanted to do, we wanted to kind of raise our eyes upwards and outside of our, our maybe narrow borders and look further afield to get that experience of being in an international sphere. Through 中西文化的差距，他们都进行了很多的碰撞沟通，内容非常丰富。那音乐课呢？音乐课是什么样的事情？音乐课是我们那个老师给我们发，每个人发了一个游客履历，让我们去看着一个视频去学它。哦，学的
I think there's a, more, a lot more lively and there's a lot more interaction while the Chinese seem to be sort of more uh, disciplined and regulated. Uh, however, at the end of a week or two weeks and if you ask the children how many words or how many things you can do, I sometimes feel that the, the Chinese way of learning is more solid. You could more or less be sure that I've covered these grammar points, I've covered all this vocabulary. They, they, they have all those things in their head uh, already. While the UK uh, children of learning the Chinese, very often we find uh, they haven't grasped as much content as we would do in the Chinese system. However, for the English children, the smaller amount of uh, materials that they have learned, the language patterns, vocabulary, they can use it more lively, while the Chinese students tend to struggle a bit, even though they've got a lot in their head. So that's why I keep thinking the best way is to learn from each other, to find the, the best compromise and uh, the best way of utilizing two different ways of teaching and learning. Because not all children are academic, so they need to be confident to be able to get on in life with the skills that aren't perhaps traditionally those that are pushed in school. It's important for our, for our kids at a young age to be exposed, to know that there are um, there are different ways of doing things and to learn about how other, how, how other cultures do things. I think it's really important for them to, to have that understanding at a young age. Chinese New Year is the most important holiday, a festival in China. And uh, so we, we really take this opportunity to share various different aspects uh, of Chinese culture to the local people here. Uh, now, the first show is Lion Dance. Ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, please welcome. students learn the lion dance movements and they gave the performance there because lion is sort of a symbol of power of good luck of uh, red obviously is a very aus auspicious color the color uh, yellow golden color sort of a very there's that royal family link sort of a very grand uh, celebration as well this particular show is uh, specialized in puppets and uh, can, there are many different types of puppets in China. The Cantonese style, they tend to have uh, the puppets on a very long stick. And uh, it, the puppeteer will have to manipulate the puppets in a very artistic way. And I think it's just beautiful. We can see the bond between the puppeteer and his puppets. Wonderful, wonderful to look at. I 
前几天你在托马斯他家里面玩那个家庭游戏，嗯，能说一说你们玩的是什么游戏吗？呃，我们玩两个游戏，一个叫做 Twister。Twister 是什么？怎么玩？呃，就是像有点类似是我们在一个地毯上面，然后那个地毯上面有很多不同颜色的不同颜色的圆形的点。然后还有一个转盘，转盘上能指针指到哪里？比如说指到了一个。啊，那你们你输了吗？还是赢了？三彩卡里。我输了。你输了。还有个游戏的名字我不知道叫什么，就是然后去按那些按，去有两个人把脸放在那个架子上，一个人把手放在一个按钮上，他开始了以后。就开始按那个按钮。Roll。那他到你没上吗？上。很多次吗？好多次。千万。哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈。I think probably the most essential part of the entire experience is spending time with your host families. Uh, because it's not so much about learning English. Because if we're realistic, in about in 10 to 10 to 12 days, their time in the UK, they're not their English is is, is going to have some improvement. But that's not the main focus of the trip. It's more about them learning how we live over here. It's more about understanding our schooling system, more about our culture. And you can only really get that from communicating and doing stuff with your host family. I think that's the most essential part of the entire trip. 能说一下昨天，或者说这几天你们晚上去了哪里玩吗？嗯，昨天晚上我们去滑冰，然后呢是和另一个伙伴 e s p e l 一起，然后一起去滑冰场，然后呢我们五个人。是你第一次去滑冰？嗯。Will I ever get a last dance? No. At first, they could, they were like struggling, but then they got the hang of it. 还带我去溜冰。I think the favorite part is the ice skating because she learned something new she hadn't done before. Did they get better? Yeah, they got better. 滑的怎么样？还还好吧。没有摔倒吧？有啊。As you know, in China. For a few decades, about 30 years, China had a family planning policy and in urban China, usually most families would only have one child, which would mean that child does not have siblings. So it's a very, they, they, it's a very privileged life in the sense of they get a lot of resources, they get a lot of uh, attention from the parents, grandparents and relatives, but they don't really have the same opportunity to to share and to fight, even to fight with their siblings. So I think it's very invaluable for the Chinese children to come to the UK to stay with a family. Many of them would have uh, maybe two or three children in the same family, or sometimes just one child. It, it doesn't really matter. It's that variety of family patterns that they get to see. I think Zhou Er, they played that game, I think it was very exciting. We played a two-team deathmatch, a four-team deathmatch, and a three-four. We were in teams and we had to shoot each other with lasers, and whoever had the most points won. Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. Um, yesterday we went to Liverpool.
Yesterday we, uh, we decided to take them into Liverpool for the day. Um, obviously Liverpool is an iconic city for lots of reasons and we walked them from school, we went up to the train station and we took them on the train. We got off in Liverpool and we walked to the Liverpool docks. We went to the Liverpool docks and we went to the Liverpool docks and we went to the Liverpool docks. 嗯、um, ，昨天上午我我和我的英国伙伴还有其他人一起去了，嗯，泰坦尼克号博物馆，好玩。I mean, Titanic is is what most Chinese parents and, and, and kids, the first thing they think of the UK is one of them is is definitely going to be Titanic. So we wanted to go to the Maritime Museum and show them that. So there were some clothes in there, and the kids were trying them on, which was which was really really cool. 然后当摩天轮升到最高的时候，我们就往下看，感觉整个世界都不一样。So that was a brilliant opportunity for them to see the city from a height, um, and to see all the different landmarks as well. And and their host child was able to point out to them all the different um parts of Liverpool. 在轮船上面度过了一个美好的中午。We had we had an absolute ball yesterday. They had a great day out. The performance at the end of the day was their farewell performance and it's something that they were working up to all week. Um, it's something that they knew was going to happen. So they've been practicing for it each day and every evening when they were at their host families. Good afternoon everyone. We are from Joe in China and have prepared a performance for you. <laughs> Today they completely blew us away. I wasn't expecting for them to actually perform as well as what they did. They sang, they danced, um, they, they wrote calligraphy and they gave us some lovely calligraphy at the end as well. And it was an opportunity for them to showcase to us their talents as well and to really say goodbye and, and thank you for, for the week that they've had. Personally, I, I'm taking away the knowledge that I've gained from spending time with colleagues who work within the same industry but in, in a very different culture and a very, very different country. And it's been fascinating for me as I reflect on the changes in our own system at the moment, the different ideas that lie further afield about how education could be viewed and different setups. And it, it gives us great opportunity to embrace different ideas that might be out there. So I've certainly learnt a lot about school leadership from the great colleagues that I've met from China. The learning分物感受第一点，第二点感受呢，通过武共统的感受它的，它这个我们这种交流的的课程来说和的内容来说和的时间来说都是实实在在的。第一点是内容分物，第二点就是很实实在在的进行的中英文化的学生交流。学习或者课程的扎扎实实推进，啊，共同学习，五共同啊，使他们共同收获了，而且也共同成长了。我觉得就三个方面比较突出的，就五个共同得到了这内容非常丰富。It's a phenomenal experience. It's really exciting and it's extremely beneficial for the school. And we're going to miss some loads. It's going to feel very weird in school without them here. 就是课堂里面的表现，还有就是寄宿家庭里面的表现，呃，有一个很明显的好转。原来害羞、难为情的那一面，就突然间在两三页之间就消失，就消失嘛，就就直接没了。所以我觉得我们这个中国孩子到英国来，他们。在前几天遇到的那些问题，不能完全归于语言不通。嗯，我还是觉得是缺乏自信，就是不知道如何与不同国家的人，不知道如何与不同呃国家的孩子去交流。啊，那你可能在想，我怎么那么确定呢？嗯，其实很简单，因为到了第三天，谁都谁也不会理我，啊，他们就开始自理了嘛。
，所以我觉得我们做的是一个特别有意义的事情，啊、呃。嗯，而且我深有感触的，可以把这一切说是我的工作，所以我很自豪的可以说这是这个是我的工作。嗯，我来英国之前不会用刀叉，然后他们就教我，然后这只手拿叉，这只手拿刀切，<笑>然后我还记得，<笑>然后我还记得那一次，他们就笑得特别开心，就觉得我就觉得自己像个傻子一样来到英国了。She's a new friend. Um, I think the, my whole family has been used to her in the house, so we will miss you being. You think Isabel and Molly, two people, when they were together, they used a knife better? Should use a knife? Yeah, because the knife is quite sharp. I was in the hospital for a few days. I was in the hospital for a few days. I was in the hospital for a few days. I was in the hospital for a few days. I was in the hospital for a few days. I was in the hospital for a few days. I was in the hospital for a few days. 懂吗 ？What's what are you gonna miss most? Um, I probably miss um, I don't know. I just miss them being around, having someone with me all the time. <laughs> I think she's a lovely girl. I think she's quite a character. I think I will be sad. It's been lovely having her, and she she seems to have fitted in brilliantly with her family. She's a lovely, polite, pleasant young person to to have and be around. Beth, the mama, thank you for these few days for my care. Um, you are very kind to me. I hope in the future you can come to Fuzhou, come to my city, Fuzhou. Then I welcome you here. What do you think your your mental health is going to be like after this whole thing? Probably his company. Because I'm a single child, I don't really get to play like games with someone else and stuff like that. So yeah, probably the company that I'm gonna miss the most. He's also very friendly, and very humorous. He's also a very good friend of mine. I will, I will miss Beth and her family, and because they are kind to me, they help me and um, everything in England. I think it will be a lot different. Amy is really nice, and she's very polite, and she's good at English. We both like sports and chocolate. <laughs> Joanna, she's a good. She's also very good. She's very good. Um, yesterday, she, yesterday morning, she sent me. Before I left this country, she sent me a lot of presents. Do you think she's going to be happy? Yeah, she is. She's very good. She's very good. 我想跟他在一起的每分每秒，嗯，他为我做过的事情，然后他为我那个操操心过的事。嗯，他如果能够看得懂的话，那我就跟他说，嗯，我特别感谢他这一周以来的照顾，但是我。怎么说？就是对他还是没办法。天下没有不散的宴席，我们必须得分开。但是我们有缘再相见吧。我最大的收获是，嗯，在学在英国学校里面交到了很多新朋友。他，我最大收获应该是收获了他们家庭的温暖亲情，然后他们每次对我的那种关怀，嗯，然后。我也特别感谢他们。我会想的三件事是：这里的学校、这里的人和这个家庭，寄宿家庭。我会想，我会想，英国的伙伴还有英国的家庭，我希望他们来中国，再次见到他们。嗯。或者最喜欢的英英文单词是哪个单词 ？Love。Love。Yeah。嗯。I love my friend. Friendship like that formed at this age, and I think will be very, very influential for the rest of their lives. I can see they were already talking about, oh, when can we see? When can I come to China? Or when when can you come back to the UK? And they they will be meeting again.